All right, today we're talking about how to export Adobe Aero files to share with your consumers. Okay, so now that we've got our Adobe Aero open with our project from last week, what we want to go to is in the top right, the little export button, go export as, and we want to choose universal scene descrip description, USDZ. Now this will take a moment to actually export uh, out onto the device, but what it's going to provide us is the ability to transfer that saved export uh, to wherever we like. So whilst that's exporting, I'm going to go to my computer, I'm going to go to my finder, and I'm going to go to AirDrop. And so in AirDrop, we want to turn it on if you don't already have it on, and then want to allow it to be discovered by everyone. And in the options now, in the exported uh, file, we could choose AirDrop. So we want to go AirDrop, we want to select your computer itself, and on computer you'll get the option to AirDrop. This is a, just a standard AirDrop. We want to accept it, it will download to the computer, and now we have the file ready to go. Okay, so I've got the Adobe Aero file now on my desktop here. This file here, if we try to open it, I don't think it really knows what to particularly do. It wants to open up Xcode. You might already have a program on your computer that's able to read uh, the USDZ files, but uh, not for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up uh, a way to actually host these. What, what we effectively need to do is host this file somewhere and then have a link to that file. So in my case, I'm gonna use Amazon's S3 bucket. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the entire process of setting up an S3 bucket here, um, but you could alternatively use like a, a web server. Um, if you just got like a standard hosting package, you could upload it into, into the files area of your, of your hosting. But what I'm gonna effectively do is I need to host it on our, I, I've just used one of our S3 buckets. I'm gonna upload the file. I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. We're gonna upload it straight in and uh, in our case, we just have to make that public, uh, that file publicly accessible. So I'm just gonna make that public so everyone can access it. And then what we're effectively doing is we need to obtain the link for it. We're gonna copy and paste that. And we need to put a reference somewhere in the web, somewhere on the web for someone to find, depending on how you're intending to use this, whether it's marking material or if it's just here's a link to the file, uh, it, we need to obtain that and provide that to people in different means. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna use this as if it's a piece of promotional material on our website that we want people to click on when they look at it. So I've just gone to Canva. Canva's a really easy site, canva.com. Uh, just easy way to make graphics for like social media, for things on your website, stuff like that. Um, heaps and heaps of templates. Some of it's paid, so you know, not particularly great always, but yeah, pretty decent site. So I'm gonna whip together a quick graphic that we're gonna to utilize to promote uh, to promote this, this uh, piece that people can look at. One hour later. Okay, so I finished off my little graphic here. Um, we now wanna download it, so we're gonna download from Canva. You can actually, uh, sorry, you can actually download as an animated GIF. So we're gonna do that here. We're gonna try download it as an animated GIF that we can place it on a web page people can click on that animated GIF and be able to then see the AR experience. So let's now go to a website and we're gonna put this up on a page. Okay, so now we're in the back end of my website and we're just gonna create a quick page in order for someone to find this. So I'm gonna add a new blog post to my site. Uh, I'm gonna call it uh, Adobe Aero Export. Uh, here's the export link. And then we're gonna add an image in and I'm gonna drag in the GIF that we just created. And we need to go and grab the link as well. So back in the S3 bucket for me, I'm gonna copy and paste that link. And in WordPress specifically, uh, there's a link to function where you can go custom URL and I'm just gonna paste that link in. Uh, so I think I have to wait for this GIF to finish uploading, but I'm just gonna try it publish and see what happens. And so it looks like that works. So let's just go double check so we can view the post and we can go, here's the export link and I'm not seeing the GIF, so 
maybe it hadn't quite finished uploading uh, by the point that I had stopped there. So let's just try refresh and it's not working. So let's quickly cut and hopefully it'll start working in a second. And of course, the second I stop recording, it starts working. So we've got here Adobe Aero export. Here's the export link. Here's the, file, uh, the actual image itself, the GIF. When you click on this, because uh, I'm on a computer, uh, it's actually downloading the .usdz file rather than allowing me to see it. And, and that is one of the downsides. Um, there is limitations on which devices can actually access this, which we're gonna go through in a second. Okay, so I'm back on the iPad now, and uh, I've gone to the same web page. We've got uh, Adobe Aero Export, here's the export link, and then the GIF itself. If we click on the GIF, it now loads up the link, doesn't download the file uh, specifically straight to the device, but rather brings up this uh, object uh, on the screen. So it's showing visually the 50% off and the computer. If we click on the top right there, that little um, symbol, we can then see uh, the camera. And so it's effectively looking for ground to place this down. We've got 50% off. Uh, you can move it around, you can rotate it, you can actually shrink it and increase the size. Uh, but effectively, we now have this available in, uh, in augmented reality. You can then also go back to object mode to see it in that white space, but the AR mode then uh, brings back the camera. The one downside that I've noticed with uh, Adobe Aero's export of the USDZ, and I'm not sure if this is Adobe Aero or if this is USDZ files, is that there's no interaction. So we can see here that the laptop is already showing, which last time it required clicking on the 50% off before it showed. If we get close to that 50% off, it also doesn't spin. So it, it's like it, it, it loses all interaction, which is really unfortunate. Um, that would be amazing if they could bring that across, whether it's Adobe Error, whether it's USDZ files, I don't know, but that is one big downside. The other side to things as well is this works perfectly fine in Safari. It also works perfectly fine via Chrome. But if we load up uh, the page via Firefox, also still on, uh, on iOS, and we have the exact same page, Adobe Aero Export, here's the export link and the GIF. When we click on the GIF itself, it's now asking us to download the file. So it, it is limited. Uh, it's iOS, but it's for iOS with Chrome and for Safari. If you try to access via any other device, whether it's Android, iOS on Firefox, uh, it appears to request the user to download the file. So there are downsides, there are limitations, but this is a way to utilize USDZ files from Adobe Aero. So that's it guys, taking an Adobe Aero project and exporting it so an end consumer can actually go through and utilize it and see it in their living room or wherever they are on their iOS device. Guys, if you come up with anything crazy in Adobe Aero and want to share it, please shoot us through a link. I'd love to check it out. But until next time, I'll see ya.